back to the channel. Today we're going to be fitting a few little bits to the Creo. Um, I'm going to spin you around and let's take a look what we're going to be fitting. Right guys, so here are the parts that we're going to be fitting. As you can see, here we've got the two um, covers to um, take away the chrome badges that are on the car. Um, close enough. Now these are just stick-on ones, um, we actually got them off eBay and we'll put a link in the description to the ones we got. There is many companies out there though um, on where you can get those. Um, but then ones what we're going to do is just quickly wipe the badges over um, to make sure there is no dust or anything to prevent them sticking and then um, we will actually fit those. Now, these ones here, um, we've got a really long aerial on the car um, and we're just going to put this smaller one. Um, it is an actual universal one, it comes with different adaption parts down by there so we're hoping we can get that um, to be fitted. And then we have these, the sequential indicators. Um, they're blacked out and the lights actually run up the um, strip um, like you see on the Audis and that so we're going to be fitting them um, I'm hoping they're easy to fit um, it comes with um, the tool to hopefully pop the caps off and I'm hoping these are going to be a straightforward fit so let's head outside now guys and get these fitted. Right guys, so let's get these fitted. Um, what they do, they just stick on. There's some sticky pads. I have um, made sure they fit tidy. And as you can see, there's an arrow over there which states this, that's the top. So let's peel these off. wipe this over but I'm going to give it another wipe quickly. And then we just slide these on. There we go guys, that's the front done. Let's head round and do the back. Right guys, same with the back. I'm just going to give you a quick wipe over. I have pre-wiped all this, so I know it's clean. So I'm just going to give it another wipe over. Now, with the back, there is no directional arrow. So what we're going to do, we're just going to see which way it fits best. It's that way guys so again just going to take these off
firm push to make sure they stick. So there, that's the back done guys. Let's go and fit the other bits. Right, so next is the aerial. So we're just going to remove the standard aerial. As you can see, that's a pretty long one. Um, and compared to the new one, there's a massive difference. So let's get this one fitted. Right, so what I've done, guys, I pre um, tested the adapter to get the right one and then. You just screw it on. Guys, now it's uh, time to do the side repeaters on the wing mirror. Um, now we go get the wing mirror cap off um, to get access to this bit. Right, so here we are on the. Reflect the bits now. And they just pull out like so. So we're gonna remove the bulb. So, all you need to do, guys, is actually take the standard bulb out, and then we'll be fitting the sequential in a minute. So, there you go, guys, that's the sequentials, and as you can see. The clip in the back just goes into where the standard bulb clips in. Right guys, I'm going to need to answer this. Right guys, we've now got that clipped in, so we're just going to fit this onto by here. So there's that guys, and now it's time to put the mirror cap back on. <laughs> this video uh, only a quick one this week coming up soon we got the fitting of the ITG uh, induction kit and the GFB diverter valve and um, they're going to be fitted ready for the remap which is coming up very very soon so stay tuned guys and don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and catch you in the next one bye